Congrats, Denver Nuggets, NBA champs. First championship win in 47 years. Enjoy the victory parade. Well, I don't know. Did Jokic really enjoy the victory parade? It felt like someone in his PR team said, dude, you just got to go put a smile on your face and say some positive words. And um, the sooner you get through this sort of stuff, the sooner you can go home to Serbia, right? And uh, tend to your horses, you know, your horses over there. So, um, but look, hey, look, obviously credit to the team. They should uh, really enjoy the moment here. But it's really interesting one point that uh, I sort of observe when teams win rings is that they start to talk about next year. Oh, we'll just do this again. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just win two in a row now. And I don't think it's as easy as that. So there's probably two things here that uh, I want to sort of put on the table in this take. One, I'm going to ask you really, really early right now, okay? Next season, Denver or the field? What do you think? That's the first question. Well, I think it's a law of averages. You always take the field, right? You're not talking about, like, you're not talking about the KD and Steph Warriors, right? Where it's just like, they will last as long as they can last, right? You're talking about a team that was well-constructed, was overdue, potentially to some. And, you know, this is a random stat that goes out there a little bit, but they can only play the people in front of them. But they did get to play an eight seed, a fourth seed, and then a seventh seed, and then an eighth seed. That's not their fault. That's who they were given. But that path to the finals, statistically, based off win-loss record, was mm-hmm. one of the easier paths to the finals since all the way back to the 60s. So, yeah, the field feels like an easier uh, gamble. I, I think you're right. And it's not to diminish their achievement or anything like that. They, like you said, can only play who ultimately advances uh, through each round in that sort of sense. It's just like the bubble ring. I don't think uh, the Lakers should be uh, sort of disadvantaged for the bubble ring. It was what it was. You know, the whole world went through that and they had to go play in a bubble and they want a ring. Give it to them. All right, that's it. But I think um, the second part here is that it'd be interesting and maybe this will never happen. Okay. But it'd be interesting if a team was to win a ring. Yeah. And to then uh, sort of look into the camera and go, our job's not done yet. I'm only going to be satisfied when we win three in a row. Yeah. And so we got 82 more games to go and another 16 playoff games. And then we're going to get two. And it's a similar sort of mantra to when you look at a game or you look at a series, maybe you win the Eastern or Western Conference finals and you go, the job's not done yet. The job's not done yet. Okay. Because there's so many teams that win rings. Okay, and maybe that sounds a bit vague. Let me take that back a step. Okay, multiple teams win one ring. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, multiple teams win one ring, but I don't know. I guess you know. You, I guess you think back and go, "Oh, I remember the Pistons. They won one. Yeah, you know, back in the day, they picked up that one. I don't know who else. I'm trying to think who has won one ring. Who has won one ring that you sort of well. Um, so oh, I the Heat, the, list the Heat picked one up. ring. Oh, the Mavs picked up one ring. Yeah, so you you remember them, but. They're not those dynasties. And they're not, again, we talked about being iconic and that sort of domination, okay, sort of thing. You win two in a row, you win three in a row. Now you're talking about all-time, all-time great teams. Yeah, all-time great dynasties, okay, in that sort of sense. So I don't know. I, I feel like what if I said, that's what I'm saying. What if a player came out and said, one's great, but I'm not satisfied. We haven't won anything yet. Because I want two. I don't know. I feel like you're diminishing the impact of winning an NBA championship. It's it's not easy to project forward 100 future games because that's what, what it will take, pretty much. If you do it in an optimal path, you will win an NBA championship in another uh, 98 games. Is that correct? Because 16 straight wins. Correct. And, and I'm not saying... So here's season. the thing. Yeah. So I'm not saying, though, that, you know, that... I'm not trying to diminish winning a ring, but I'm saying that, you know, it's easy to just proclaim right now. Several players on the Nuggets have sort of already proclaimed, oh, we'll, we'll win it again. We're going to go back to back. It's easy to proclaim that. It's much harder to back it up. But what I'm trying to say here is that what if a player came out and said, you know what, one's great. Let's celebrate it. But I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied because I only got one. For me to be remembered as an all-time great, as a Hall of Famer lock, I need... I need more and I'm not satisfied. I think, I think 
it's one of those things you got to let your game do your talking for you. So, you know, you, you just, you can't project that far forward. You know, Jokic very nonchalant about winning the NBA championship. And perhaps that is the vibe that he's giving off. Or maybe that's just his personality. It's difficult to know. Um, but, you know, he's still got, if he wants it, like barring injuries, of course, like another 10 years to compete for a championship. So, you know, I think to a quick counter, dynasties are really important. But over the last five years, we've had five different uh, champions. Mm. And that's a bit of a rarity in the NBA. Normally, we do have these stints of two or three um, consecutive winners. But to, I guess, bring a dynasty that didn't do what you're saying, but still were remembered, the San Antonio Spurs. They're one of one in this category, but they sporadically made the finals, were always in some form of contention. Uh, but, you know, their their win rate, you know, like Duncan wins it in his like rookie season and then also wins it in like his second last season. And they were always relevant and always doing it. So, you know, Denver may not win it next year and then maybe they don't win it the year after and then maybe they win again and then maybe they don't and then they do and maybe they pick up three and six, you know. I, I think we need to let Denver celebrate. We need to calm down a little bit about this Hall of Fame stuff. I think Jokic is number one in the Hall of Fame of people who don't care about being in the Hall of Fame. I actually think that he's already number one because he's never going to probably talk about any of that GOAT stuff or the best center of all time stuff. He's just going to play and then he's going to go home and hang out with his family and hang out with his horses. And you know what? Maybe Jokic has figured out what American and by proxy Western society can't is that just do just do just do what you do, be happy with what you do, and you'll probably be very, very well off for it. This is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz, this is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our viewer a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. And if you've got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.